Hello and welcome to this mini photography project. Today we're going to show you how to shoot, edit, print and frame a picture so you can create a work of art to hang on your wall. In this tutorial I'm framing my image as a floating panel to create something a bit different. If you want to use an image you've already taken to make your masterpiece, you can. Or you may also want to give what we're about to show you a go. To create the work of art, I've set up a home studio shoot. I placed some colour material on a surface and I filled a glass up with water. Added to this is a few drops of olive oil. I've also put a little washing up liquid into the mixture as this keeps the oil bubbles bubblier. I'm using a 100mm macro lens and I've set up my Canon 7D on a tripod. I'm only using a natural ambient light. I put my camera into the manual mode and set the aperture to f2.8. This is so the bottom of the glass doesn't come into focus. I've kept the ISO low at 100 and I'm going to balance my shutter speed to 1 1 60th of a second. I switched my lens to the manual focus setting as now I have complete control. When shooting macro it can be easier to use the manual focus setting as you're not against any time restraints. Keep checking that your images are sharp on the LCD screen. Now I'm going to take a few shots, experiment with the setup, change the background colour and add more oil to create more bubbles. To get the most out of the raw file I've made a few tweaks in Photoshop elements. So now I'm going to print my image. I'm using some matte photo paper. You want to make sure the paper you're printing onto is thick and print out your image at the highest quality setting possible. If you don't have a printer, there are many online or high street services where you can get your images printed. We're now at the stage where we're ready to frame our image. I picked up this frame for £10 from a high street shop. The frame is purposely quite a bit bigger than the square 8x8 image I've just printed. I've also got some foam board which cost around £2.50 for a sheet. To get started, get your frame and remove the back panel. Pick up the mount card and using your ruler and a pencil draw around the back. Make sure you draw the lines on the back of the mount card. Cut out using a craft knife, ruler and a cutting mat. Next get your foam board and mark up a square. Our image is around 8 by 8 inches and this is going to float in the centre of our frame. You want to cut out the square of the foam board and then get your image and cut this out. Next I'm going to use some spray mat to stick my image to the foam board. Put some newspaper or a plastic bag down and make sure you have a clean surface to place your image onto. Spray evenly about 15cm away and leave for a minute or so so the glue goes tacky. Place your image carefully onto the foam board. Next I'm going to mark up the mount board so I know where the image needs to sit. Finally using some double sided tape I'm going to attach the image to the mount board and stick into place. Now all I need to do is put the image back in the frame. I'm going to check for dust and use some glass cleaner if necessary. Finally, hang your image on the wall like this. You can be really experimental with how you go about doing this project. You may want to include more than one picture in the frame, or you can frame a few images separately and display them together. We'll leave this up to you, so why not give it a go yourself? We'd love to see your results. You can upload your images and ask us your questions at www.facebook.com forward slash photoplusmag or you can tweet us at photoplusmag.